All right, guys, well, welcome back to Stranded Deep. All right, guys, so we are currently at my home base and I have a big project that I want to do in this episode. And that project is I want to finally go ahead and build a house. Now, right now, my whole like housing situation and my storage situation is just this area over here, which I really don't like. Like, I have this shelter. I mean, it's cool. Like, it does the job. I can sleep here. I can save here. That's also dope. I have my little campfire, so if I need to cook meat like i am doing right now i can do so but then my storage area i just don't like this like look at all these fibrous leaves and i can just like put more and more on here and then i have my loom just kind of randomly over here i have all of my boxes and like all these vehicle parts cloth some sticks and stuff it's just very messy and i don't like it so i think i'm gonna end up just making a house so then i can at least get rid of that shelter i don't have to do the shelter um i can kind of just clean up this whole area and yeah i mean we'll be be living in luxury soon enough now to make a shelter what do i need so i'm gonna need all of this so i think i need the wood foundation i'm not gonna make anything like too crazy so i'm just gonna make it off of wood for now so need four sticks for a wood foundation and then need a wood floor and then a wood window wood arch so there's a whole bunch of stuff that i can make now i have some sticks here so i can make my foundation right away so my thing was i wanted to put it like right here like right in the middle but the thing about that is that you can't break Break down this tree this tree like doesn't exist it's here but my guy just kind of like swings through it like this thing is on a different timeline a different plane of existence or something but i cannot break down this tree so with the wood foundation i guess i'm just gonna put it right here instead uh, i'm gonna raise it up a little bit so i'm gonna have it like that oh i have to actually hit it with my hammer okay that's cool i always wondered what this hammer was for and then if i go back over here i can pick up the rest of my sticks why can't i make a wood floor in the trees this is like a wood foundation right so I mean, do I make the walls then? How do I do this? This is very confusing. Oh, okay. I guess I just make the walls. All right. I mean, I'll have a wood wall here. Again, I don't want to make anything too crazy. I'm just going to make something really small. This is just going to be a starter home for me. So yesterday, before I started recording, I also cut down a whole bunch of trees. So I'm going to use these for, you know wooden stuff this is gonna take a long time though which kind of sucks cutting down a tree must be like super hard i don't think i'll be able to do it i feel like you have to have a lot of strength just to cut down a whole tree like that's a tree bro you know how like sturdy that thing is and you expect me to cut down a whole tree i can't do that so i'm not sure what the wood floor is for maybe the wood floor is like if i want to make a second floor um but as of right now i don't want to do that now i do want to make a storage shed i don't know if i want to make it attached to my actual house I I don't think so i think i'm just gonna actually just leave this alone and then i'll have like a storage thing out near the water maybe so i'll like clear out an area just make a storage shed over here but yeah i really just want to clean up how this island looks because right now it looks kind of terrible or should i do a double decker how do, can i make a ladder is that a thing i can make or can i make like stairs this is, these are walls these are windows these are wooden arches oh, okay so i need wooden steps so i'd have to like make this my house another wood foundation here with the steps attached to it and then the other part of the house would be up there you know what let me do it why not why are we starting off small let's start off nice and big let's start off all grandiose let's do it let's make a wood window when i was little i used to be very obsessed with those uh like those hgtv uh shows i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but it's basically like a channel where they just record a bunch of people like decorating houses and stuff especially the ones where they like found a dump like an absolute dump of a place and then they just fixed it up and made it look like really nice inside those are always super satisfying and then those is one where like someone was selling their house it was like a partnership between two people so like one person in the partnership would go out with the family and they would try to find like a better house and the other person in the partnership would try to improve their house so that they could either keep the house, you know, spend some money in the house, keep the house. Um, they can probably sell it for more later on in the future, or they could just straight up sell the house and, uh, you know, buy a whole new one. Look at that. I am protected from the elements now. Kind of. I have a window, which kind of makes it so rain is coming inside. But this is actually really cool. For those kind of, like, shows, I wonder how much money you need to actually be a part of them, though. Because I feel like you need a lot of money just to be on those shows especially since you're selling your house for like hundreds of thousands of dollars you gotta have a sizable amount of money to be able to be on those shows especially also if they're like renovating your house too one you have to have the budget for 
a house. And then you have to have the budget for the renovations they're gonna make. That's kind of crazy. There's no way I could be on one of those shows. Oh my god, guys, look. It's like an actual house. There's a roof, there's windows, there's walls, there's a door. There's still a wide open space, but that's fine. That is fine. We are getting it together. We are surviving. What the fuck? Where did my axe go? All right, so this is how it's gonna look. Um, I have the windows here. Now, if I knew that I was gonna have to make another foundation, I probably would have put my windows facing right in the middle, because now this is gonna kind of like, it's not gonna seem symmetrical, but it's okay. You know, we'll live. Jeez, yeah, I'm, I'm going through sticks like crazy. Now, if there is something that I kind of hate about this game is the, uh, the menu to actually craft things. It's kind of broken. So like you see here, it's on like the building part. So like, let's say I was on here and I made stew, I made a stone tool because I wanted to come down here to make the crude axe after. So I'd make the stone tool. Uh, it would like kick me out of the menu. I'd go back into the menu. Now I'm in building. So I have to go back here and then I have to go down. It's not like a crazy thing. Like obviously there's worse things out there but it is just kind of annoying how does this work how do i do this how do i make another so if i need to make a wood floor do i have to make i think i have to make the walls first maybe it's kind of confusing but i'll get the hang of it so I'll make another wood wall here okay let's test my theory so the walls are built kind of so what if i go over to this and then i go to wood floor can i place it on top oh wait no because i'm gonna have to make another one i'm gonna have to extend it one more because yeah i'm gonna have to make it i'm gonna have to it's gonna be four long because the another area is gonna be here is this worth it or should i just go like or should i just make it like this i think i might just make it like this i don't think having a second floor is worth it right now yeah fuck it i'm not making a second floor we're just gonna keep it like this we're gonna just build a window here all right so now we're all enclosed i just need to make two more roof thingy things and then i think we should be good so roof cap is on i just need one more and we are now fully enclosed inside of this area Look at this. I'm gonna go to sleep really quick so I can see what this place is gonna look like in the daytime I'm actually very very curious. This is my house right here. It's very very simple Extremely simple. It's basically made of wood. There's nothing else inside of it uh, And yeah, but you know, let me grab this stuff. I'm gonna put it on the inside I'm gonna put them against the wall Maybe just like that if I can just keep them lined up like that I should be fine because then I'll still have a lot of space to move around god the physics in this game are fucking weird man I'm just trying to yeah flip over. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I'm so smart push you against the thing We did it. Look at that we are good. All right, back to get the other ones. Now, I'm going to have to do more adventuring so I can find more of these wooden crates because right now, I only have six. And that seems like a lot, but I'm starting to get a lot of supplies. So six is not exactly a lot anymore. But I do want to end up actually organizing these so I can like, so I can go to this one and be like, all right, you know, I have so-and-so in this one. I have so-and-so in this one, so-and-so in this one. But I don't know if I can actually make, I don't think I can make wooden crates. I haven't seen an actual recipe for it. As of right now, I can only find them from wreckages and islands and stuff so i'll have to keep exploring i'll have to keep going through and making uh, more exploration videos and we're good look at that we are good let me pick up my compass again we have a house i'm so excited i am so excited now let me just try to clean up this area over here and i think i should be good um i think i'm gonna just leave a whole bunch of fibrous leaves over here i'm gonna leave them i don't want to leave them too close to the tide because if it starts storming i don't know if they can take my supplies but i want to leave them near my water still um, i might end up moving my water still because right now it's just over here by itself but for right now i'll leave it here and i'll drop all of my fibrous leaves in this area Bro, everywhere I go on Twitter nowadays, all I'm seeing is like a whole bunch of uh, memes about that fucking hippo. What, like it's like in Thailand or something? What's her name? Mu Dang. Bro, that hippo is cute as fuck. That hippo is mad cute. I didn't know hippos could be so cute. Although I have never seen a actual hippo baby in my life before until now. I didn't know if there was a reason why everyone thought she was cute. Like, I didn't know like if she was born with like maybe like extra chubby skin or something because she does look mad chubby. Like if you look at the pictures of her, 
she's always looking like she's like oiled up not in like a weird way but like she's always shiny yeah she's always shiny like she got all these wrinkles on her body and stuff i'm sorry mudang i'm not trying to like fat shame you or body shame you right now i this is all pure love bro this is all pure love but yeah i mean everyone is talking about this damn hippo and honestly i can see the hype it's a cute ass hippo to me all i've known hippos for was like madagascar and then people like saying like horror stories about hippos because i guess hippos are like mad dangerous and mad aggressive at least out in the wild now i really hope mudang does not go down that path mudang you are too cute to be known as a murderer of the jungle I'm sorry, you can't go out like that. You have a whole life ahead of you. You can't ruin your reputation like that. So, Mudang, do your best. You're still a baby, you know. Live it up while you can because the world is a cruel place, Mudang. The world is a cruel place. Plank station? I wonder what that is. Can I make planks? How do I do that? So, I can make... I need a crude hammer, a refined axe, a trunk, and a lashing. Not too bad, but I don't know what I need planks for right now, so I'm gonna hold off. Wow, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't even know I could make. I can make... Okay, I guess I can make bricks. I can make a house out of bricks. That big bad wolf ain't gonna blow that shit down. Uh, we got tanning racks, furnace. Okay, cool. I mean, I'll probably end up making a lot of this stuff to increase my, uh, you know, survivability. All right, so I mean, I feel like this was very productive. But yeah, I mean, I feel like this was a very productive episode. I was able to actually make a whole entire house, which is great. I never thought in my life I would say that, that I could make my house. Why? Because the housing market is ass. But at least in video games, game world i can definitely build a house it's kind of crazy how in the past you could deadass just build a house like you could just be like huh this is a very nice open field i think i should make a house here and then you could deadass just make a house so yeah i'm happy i have my thing i can't actually sleep inside of my house yet so as of right now it is just purely storage hopefully i can make a bed soon because i want to sleep inside my new house it sucks that I have like this gigantic thing and I can't like sleep inside of there, but it is pretty to look at, so that's great. So, I mean, yeah, I feel like I have my home base pretty much set up. I'm probably gonna make some more stuff, but off camera, because there are a lot of tedious things to do in this game, and I don't wanna show you guys all that tedious things like collecting supplies and doing all sorts of stuff. That's why I cut down those trees last night and I didn't do them here in the video because that would have taken up way too much time. Uh, a fire spit, I can make that, you know, I can roast like really big fish and stuff i'll make that a hobo stove i don't know what a hobo stove is but i need a barrel and i don't have a barrel so i can't make that a meat smoker will probably be top of the list i haven't dealt with spoiled meat yet i'm pretty sure it's a thing in this game there's no way it's not spoiled meat is definitely a thing i don't think i can just carry around rotten meat or even cooked meat for too long it's probably gonna go bad at some point now my hunger does go down fast enough where it's not too much of an issue for me at the moment but a meat smoker will at least make it so i don't have to worry about that at all and it's not too much to make it's just a fire pit a stick a lashing cloth so it's very easy to make so i can upgrade my fire pit in a little bit loom i already have a plank station i don't know if i want to make that yet i'm gonna hold off just because i don't know what i need planks for uh same thing for like other things like the uh, brick station i don't know what i need the brick station for so i'm gonna hold off a tanning rack will probably be pretty good um so i can make leather although i'm not sure how i can actually make it i'll make that at some point same thing with the furnace i need clay stick and lashings i've never seen clay before but yeah i think i'm good i think i'll probably end off this episode here um next episode i'll continue exploring i do need more supplies so i'll do that but if you guys enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe share if you're enjoying the stranded deep playthrough let me know but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one peace